In a universe with so many unanswered questions, the vast stretches of the unknown and the unanswered and the unfinished still far outstripe our collective comprehension. We will shed light onto the darkness. We will explore the universe to find what is really out there. We are the disclosure. We are the order of light. Hello, it's Robert Earl White with the Order of Light here today to talk about the Akara, the Mantis, insectoid extraterrestrials that come from the M104 Sombrero Galaxy Mag 8.3. They call it the Sombrero Galaxy because it looks like a sombrero. Found here are many other forms of insectoid extraterrestrial species. The Akara Mantis aliens are perhaps the most mysterious and unsettling of all the extraterrestrial species. Let's take a deeper look. My good friend Elena Danan, in her book, A Gift from the Stars, Alien Races, categorizes the Akara mantis into three subspecies. The green subspecies have two thin legs, long tubular butts with wings and yellow eyes with narrow vertical splits in them. They are enslaved to the Orion and Grey collectives. The white subspecies are much taller with ring necks, three pairs of legs, pointy appendages, and mandibles that hang from the sides of their mouth, also enslaved to the Zeta Reticuli Greys and Orion Alliances. The black subspecies is some sort of humanoid hybrid, and they do not work for the Orion and Grey collectives, but are rather working for their own scientific curiosity and programs, also assisting the Tarian species of consciousness. Consciousness awakening. Elena also states that there is a noticeable absence of notions such as bad or good. Their ethic code is rather based upon what is useful and logical and what is not. Because of this reason, these peaceful beings will take part willingly in many different alliances. In a common abduction scenario, the mantis are generally seen as overseers. A mantis being will be accompanied by several small groups extraterrestrial species such as the Zeta Reticuli who seem to do their bidding. These small greys are soon to be drone beings controlled by a hive mind and used by many other species as well. The mantis are commonly involved in abductions that both include medical procedures and instances of interrogations. However, some return from their experiences with the mantis with a darker point of view stating that the mantis wish to conquer and control Earth rather than aid of its human ascension, and they believe that the mantis are a part of a hybridization program currently taking place to use human DNA to create new species. As Elena mentioned before, the green and white subspecies are enslaved to many other alliances and collectives. Due to this, although they may be peaceful, at the end of the day, you have to ask who are these beings working for? Where you have the black subspecies, which does not take part in things like this. Prior to this recent involvement, mantis have had little to do with Earth other than gifting the planet with their prey a mantis insect that has since evolved into many glorious colors. These little creatures hold a special energy of their mantis parents and it's no wonder that they are revered by many and are often seen as positive omens. The involvement with Earth, the mantis are assisting and in many ways overseeing the Zeta Reticuli program and human spiritual advancement projects. They are assuring that the universal principles are adhered to as well as given their expertise in frequency alignment. They are artists of the hybrid process, if you will. They are often seen in the background of abduction experiences and they are usually the fourth and fifth D mantis beings. But other ones are guided by their higher dimensional kin who play a part in their spiritual guidement. Akara are are masters in the science of vibrational frequency and sonic 
technologies. Their eyes are able to see in multiple different light spectrums and they have a sense of sonar. This makes the Akara mantis species extremely valuable to many other fractions such as the Orion Empire and even the Galactic Federation worlds. These beings are amazing at keeping planets in the correct frequency and using their sonar capabilities, helping keep balance within that consciousness of that planet. They have been helping alongside of many other species for thousands of years now, doing this very same thing. Now let's take a look about what our ancient history says about them. Our ancient ancestors have had encounters with insectoid beings for a long time. The mantis people in Zimbabwe, in this painting, Trzanski, the Cataclysm, you can see this mantis being. According to Bushman legend, animals could talk and were indistinguishable from humans. The first people who were legendary ancestors of the present day Bushmen. On occasion, UFO abductees have seen mantis-like beings who were assisting the greys, but looking closely at these paintings they seem to be an integral part of our civilization. Ancient people said these insect toys lived in dark caves and would communicate with certain tribes. They referred to them as the ant people as you can see here in these petroglyphs in Bellows Fall, Vermont. Also traditional ceremonial costume also showing these antennas. Is it possible that our ancient ancestors had direct contact with these mantis beings? As I mentioned before, due to their telepathic abilities, sonic and color vibrational frequencies, they have been sought after by the Orion Alliances and the Orion Empire. Unfortunately, these are peaceful beings, but at the will of the Orion Empire, they have used insectoid genetics in order to make cloned armies, and other species, such as some reptilians and greys, use the mantis's DNA in order to upgrade their species abilities. In most cases, these are scientists held captive by more hostile beings that use them to do their task and their bidding, such as alien abductions and DNA experiments on behalf of the Orion Empire and the Orion Alliances. Fortunately, higher density mantis beings are not associated with these alliances. Now we are going to watch this news clip of an 8 foot tall praya mantis alien declared real by experts. This picture was captured in Taiwan and it's really incredible. These beings are very very tall up to 9 feet and they exist in multiple different densities from the third density going up to the ninth density. Now with this photo, you can see almost like a shadow of it being casted. I believe this is due to these beings' density, and when they come within this light spectrum and frequency, they can kind of cast this shadow due to our camera's visibility in the light spectrum. They had their scientists look and review this. It's actually quite phenomenal. They said this being was extremely large and you can see it pretty clear. It matches the descriptions of what we have been going over. It seems like some sort of giant white or green species. My guess would it's a big old green one and there are higher density beings of mantis and who knows what it could be. But check this out. This was on major news over there. The mantis are often encountered wearing long robes in a variety of colors, perhaps signifying rank, while some are unclothed. Although the mantis tend to communicate with human abductees using telepathic messages, they have been witnessed engaging one another using an auditorial language. Several contactees have described the mantis language as a series of clicking sounds exchanged between the creatures. 
Could you be a mantis starseed? There are over 800,000 mantis souls incarnated here now. This is a new experience for the race and it's not an easy one. Many of these starseeds feel completely left out of place here on earth in a human body. They have felt that if anyone really knew who they were, they would run, so they hide their inner truth in some way. It has been a difficult task for their angels and other guys to get them to open up and share what they came to share. Once they do open up, their intensity are an ability to know what needs to be done to create the perfect environment is uncanny. They are usually artistic in some sort of way. They are writers, musicians, poets, designers of space and events. They have a knack for bringing pieces of the puzzle together and truly making it sing. They are here to use these gifts to infuse a higher frequency into the hearts and environments of the form, sound, and color. They are also a huge help to the new generation of souls being born with advanced DNA as they help them ally with their higher potential. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn more information, you can go in the description, click on the link. There you can find my UFO crash story merchandise. Also, you can find Elena's link to her book a gift from the stars please subscribe like and share it really helps the videos get going thank you this is robert earl white with the order of light reminding all of you that we are the disclosure i'll see you in another dimension